The Hudson County Schools of Technology is implementing a change at its two district high schools for the September semester. As a vocational district focusing on career and technical education, the district must balance academics and a student's chosen career path. Robust programs within the Earl W. Bird Center. We just finished uh, completing a wing that focuses solely on music and audio technology. And then, as you know, you've been to our newer, our newer campus, the Frank J. Gargiulo Center in Sea Caucus, that has state-of-the-art theater, dance room, and many other areas where we felt that the drama and theater program would be better served with that equipment, as well as the resources. The change will also allow the teaching staff at the two high schools to come together to enhance each program of study. To help facilitate the transition, the district has already begun the process. Freshmen and sophomores would have a choice to remain with their program of study and transfer to the different high school, or they can um, transfer out of their program of study, remain in their current high school. Now, our rising juniors, who will be seniors next year, they can have either option, but also would be able to look into what's known as a shared time program, where they would be able to keep their academic classes in one particular building, and then take those um, major courses, you know, the programs of study at the other facility. Moving forward over the next few months, our plan is to include parents of the students and high tech high school as well as county prep to come together in groups and talk about the changes and the positive changes that are going on and how we can enhance this together their opinions and suggestions are absolutely important to us and we want to take all of that into consideration i'm, I'm excited to bring the district together with, with this plan to enhance our, our performing arts um, they have great students they have great teachers um, great administrators and i i'd love to get all those students in acclimated to our program. Um, I think we have great facilities here. We have a, a main stage theater with capacity for 387 um, people to watch them perform. We have a block box theater with capacity of 144 people to watch them perform. I'm actually pretty excited because I'm an alumni of high tech high school and I was actually one of the first students that was part of the music technology program. And this is something that I pursued as a career and I'm excited of bringing everything back together full circle and combining our programs and our resources to allow our students to have a more well-rounded approach to learning music and audio technology, which is something that covers dealing with creating music in a recording studio environment, but also providing support for shows, music shows, uh, and live events. Lynn Rodriguez stresses that even though there are two high schools, they fall under one umbrella. HCST is one district with a singular mission, enhance all resources so every student receives the best possible education. We are strong supporters of the arts, and that's why we see this consolidation as a reason to unify and to actually grow resources for our students. And there's no doubt that whenever there is a move or whenever there is a change, it does create emotional upset, uh, you know, depending on what building you're in, students, staff, and you know, including all of us, we do feel that there will be some kind of loss, but we have to look at what gains are out there for our current student population and the future. School staffs are excited about the future direction of the arts at the Hudson County Schools of Technology. For Hudson TV, I'm Jeff Hennig.